for as long as I can remember, art has been my passion. I wanted to talk about how I got to where I am today in what I'm focusing on and what my influences were leading up to that. Growing up, art had been an influence in my life for as long as I can remember. Both of my parents are artists, and everywhere I would look there were paintings, art books, my dad was always drawing. I grew up drawing all the time too. Seeing my dad drawing all the time led me to constantly sketching and drawing and trying to improve. I always knew that I wanted to do something with art, but I never really knew what it was that I wanted to do. Growing up, I would just sketch and dabble in painting, go to my dad's drawing classes. My dad's background in art is he started out as a gallery artist. In a search for something more steady, he went to Disney worked on animation, background artwork, and a lot of other things. He worked on a lot of different movies like Fox and the Hound, The Page Master, and Black Cauldron. I grew up with all of this stuff around me. I still remember my dad being home and drawing different characters from The Page Master and watching him draw those in the studio. I take for granted the influence that I had growing up with art. As I talk to other artists now and find out how they got their start in art and what their influences were growing up, a lot of them are the only artists in their family and it was a big stretch for them to try and explain to their family that they were going to go off and be an artist and not an engineer or something more practical. For me, I was always told that I could do whatever I wanted didn't necessarily have to be something in art, although there was a period when I thought that that was what I had to do. It went as far as me telling my parents that I wasn't going to be an artist and they couldn't make me do it, and their reply was, okay, which took a little bit of steam out of my, out of my argument and my fight not to be an artist. Meanwhile, the whole time I was still sketching and drawing all the time, so I think it's pretty safe to say that they knew I was going to have a the struggle for me was, I didn't know what I wanted to do with art. I knew I wanted to create things, but I didn't know much more than that where I wanted to go with it. When I graduated high school, I had gotten into the college that my brother and my sister had gone to, and I was going to go. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to do something with art, but that was about it. In the end, I decided not to go away to a university and to stay home and go to a community college and get through my general education classes. Each semester, I would take one class that was something that I thought I might be interested in. I took everything from traditional drawing, music technology, 3D animation, and then I finally stumbled across a graphic design class. It was in that first graphic design class that I actually discovered what graphic design was. I had no idea what design was. I just took for granted all of these things that I saw around me every day. All of the amazing artwork on the skateboards that I grew up riding, the stickers covering my door, the posters all over my walls, that was all design. Someone's job was to create those. Once I realized that that was the job that I could have, I decided I could do this. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to dive deeper into design. After a few semesters, I got an internship at an action sports publication where they focused on bicycle magazines. They covered everything from mountain bikes, road bikes, BMX, and they even had a mini motocross magazine for a little bit. The first job I remember having there was clipping out different products and bicycles so that they could be put on different backgrounds and layouts. It was a lot of hard work and there was a big learning curve to all of the different tools that I needed for that job. I'm grateful for how much work I had to put in, in the beginning. All the work that was put in then gives me the speed and ease with these tools that I use now so I don't have to focus on the technical side of these tools. I can focus on what I'm actually creating. I had a lot of fun working at that job. I got to work on a lot of different projects and that's where I really learned the true meaning of hustling. I tried to bring in a little bit of the traditional side of my influence from my dad. I would try and do different illustrations for different features and really just trying to be creative in any way possible. 
It was during my time there that I got some of my first freelance clients. Companies would come in and purchase ad space even if they didn't have an ad and the publisher wasn't going to say no to their money so he would send them our way and we would work with them in creating an ad for them on a freelance basis. I had gotten a chance to freelance for a suspension company that had advertised with the mountain bike magazine. Over about a period of a year I was freelancing for them and eventually transitioned into a full-time job with them. Moving into an actual design team outside of the publication and developing artwork for products, their advertising, all the different sales materials that they needed, it was a huge undertaking and I learned so much. Over the period of my time there, while I got to work on a lot of fun creative projects and, and exercise my skill set in a lot of different ways, I started to get burned out on just being an in-house designer and just doing artwork for one company and one specific type of products and just focusing on design. I really enjoyed design, but I didn't feel like I was really doing what I was meant to be doing. After a few years working at that company, their parent company decided to outsource the whole creative department to a creative agency overseas. Once that happened, I wasn't really prepared. I was thrust into full-time freelance when I didn't have a game plan. I'd always done freelance work on the side, but I never really had a strategy for doing freelance work as its own sustainable business. It was always just something on the side for extra cash. I did the freelance design thing, working for different companies for a couple years. I also teamed up with a couple other designers that I have worked with at the past two companies. That. We created a design group where we could come together to tackle bigger projects for companies. I had a lot of fun working with those guys and working on the different projects that we got to do, but I still wasn't doing the work that I felt like I was meant to be doing. During this time, I was still growing and learning more. I don't feel like the time was wasted. I feel like I was still growing and learning more and perfecting my craft. But eventually, I ended up taking another full-time in-house design job to cover the bills. This job that I had taken on was a more corporate job. The type of design work at this job was a little more straightforward and didn't have quite the room for creativity that I had in past jobs. So I had to find somewhere else to let that creative energy out. So I started working on my own projects and I eventually found my way back to illustration. When I came back to illustration, I came with the perspective of a designer and I wanted to create my illustrations Adobe Illustrator focusing on vector art and really using minimal amounts of color. A lot of this I think came from some of my influences like all the Omei stuff that Shepard Fairey has done. I brought in a lot of influence from other illustrators that are also designers. I love a lot of the styles with limited colors and that's where I wanted to focus my work. I feel like it's not till now, almost 10 years later, working as a designer that I've really found my niche and where I want to focus with my work. I couldn't be more excited. I can't wait to share more of my new work with everyone as well as share a little bit of my journey and what got me to where I am today. While my path to this point wasn't direct, each stop that I took, I took a little bit of that experience with me and it's helped influence my art and where it is now. I love creating and I love everything about art. I can't get enough of it. Art is my life and I can't be more excited that I've finally found my direction and I can keep charging forward. If you'd like to get to know me better, you can follow me as Neil Bilpu on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I look forward to seeing you there and you say hi.